All right, big box, two Batmobiles. Let's see if it fits for the six inch scale figures or one twelve scale figures. Uh, this is the twelve inch scale Batmobile. All right, so this is a awesome Batmobile. The only thing is that I think it's just way too big. Uh, let's just put some six inch scale figures next to it, even seven inch scale. Um, this I already knew um, this was going to be acceptable uh, for the scale, for the price. Um, they have this build, it's pretty cheap plastic, as we I think can expect for a big uh, child's toy. This is for obviously not as detailed. You can do so much stuff with this yourself, like the coloring of the, the rims and this little bar right here, all the other things. Uh, you can just shut this, you can glue that, you can add some windows, um, you can add some more interior because right now it's a little bit plain. As you can see, just some lights. Um, it's really made for that 12 inch scale figure and I think this is the first time they actually kept their word about the scale and I think we expected it to be like, I think around for a seven inch scale figure. Um, this is just really, really big. It looks good. The Batmobile is really cool. Um, here's a look from like top side. There you go. Uh, no lights or anything. Hollow plastic. Um, here you can even see there's a hole in there. Um, those holes is where it was, I think, secured to the package. And that's just it. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Plastic wheels. Obviously, you can swap those. Here the exhaust. All the details of that. Yeah, it does look really cool. I love this Batmobile. I really love it. <laughs> the only downside is that this is just too big, even for a uh, seven-inch scale figure. So this is a six-inch scale. I hope it would fit with this, uh, but this is so far. Look how big that is. The the car is just so big, and um, in the the movie. The, this, this, like the screens they released, the pictures of him next to the Batmobile was way better. Um, he was like with his chest, I think, above the Batmobile. So this will never work for this scale. So this is just already going to be there. And I thought, well, maybe it's better for 7-inch, more realistic scale. There you go. A little bit bigger, but still not good enough. This is too small. So even for the 7-inch McFarlane one, it's too small. Then I thought, well, if only Dark Father would go in, not that I would want to, but just for skill purposes, because it's just a little bit like up and up and up. I still don't know if that would be the correct skill to do it. It would already be better, I think. You can see that looks quite accurate, but just the, it's just so big. Um, this entire thing, by the way, uh, in a moment, I'll keep it next to my um, that custom tank I purchased, uh, the Dark Knight Returns uh, Batmobile, and I'll put it next to that so you can see like how ridiculously big this one is. Um, yeah, so there's also like just for I'm just doing it this easy video so everyone knows what to expect. It means of the scale. Look, that is a six-inch scale bike. That's how big this thing is. And I also have this McFarlane bike, and I'll just put it like this then you have that bike and then you have this bike that's the scale see how small that is small bike um unfortunate i thought um i even purchased two and i thought well maybe i can just um sell one to a friend of mine so i already had had one and then i thought well okay maybe i want to have this uh for my friend as well but we're both not gonna like the scale, so um, yeah, don't know what to do with it. I think I'll just sell the figure and keep this for a while and see what to do with it. But first, I'll show you next to the tank, then you can see how ridiculously big it actually is.